Hey friends, it's Lee with the Turquoise Valentine, and we're gonna create tonight. It's Friday Night Live, yay, yay, yay. And we're just, I'm just gonna try to get some things together and start painting while everybody's hopping on. If you're watching replay, just do hashtag replay so I know that you are here. Um, and I hope you enjoyed the video. So there's people popping on, hey. Hey, 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 it's Friday night. Y'all are coming to spend your Friday night with me and I'm so grateful. Hey, Nori and Angel, <clears throat> how are y'all tonight? And I'm gonna pour out some paint. I had to open it because you know, it all gets all crackly at the thing. I'm round down to the last of this. Hopefully that'll be enough. Hey, Amy, hey, Kathy and Candy and Tammy. Oh, you're so sweet, Tammy. And Phyllis, y'all are so sweet. I'm so glad y'all are here to spend Friday night with me. Um, hey, Pamela and Vicki. I kind of got this all together today. Um, I was kind of inspired by a few things I saw on Pinterest and just a bunch of little ideas kind of came together to do this. Patty and Bertha, hey everybody. Y'all are so sweet to be here. So what are y'all doing on this? wild friday night <laughs> my um my son and his and my, well my son and my stepson they have a bunch of friends over here and they all decided to get in the pool earlier when i'm like it's too cold it's too cold it's too cold and you know they had been playing basketball and they were hot and sweaty and they got in the pool and i'm like it is cold even though it was 84 degrees here today the water in the pool is still too cold to get in but they got in anyway you know they had fun I, it's too cold for me <laughs> hey mavis thank you mavis Judy and Kathy. Yes, thank y'all for everybody who voted. Um, it's now the slate's wiped clean again and the voting starts over. And there are four groups of eight people that's left. And me and Christy with Christy's Craft Room, we are still in it. That's the only two that I know of, of our little circle of Facebook crafters. <coughs> hey, Anita. Hey, Leanne. And Ann, um, my back is good. I'm doing better every day. But anyway, so me and Chrissy with Chrissy's Craft Room, we're still in it. Um, she and I have talked today because um, we're like, woohoo, we're at the end. And, I, you know, I just really didn't see me getting to this point. But um, it just gives me goosebumps. I wish I could see my arms. But anyway, it's just uh, I have y'all to thank for that. Um, that is, that is you and that is you voting and doing all the things. And I so, so appreciate it. Um, I would be really excited if I win, but either if, if me or Christy wins, I will be so excited. She and I have the same, um, the same, um, uh, what am I trying to say? Want to do with the money. Um, our, our ideas are uh, nearly the same. Like we want to help people who can't afford to <clears throat> buy crafting supplies or they've had a, a loss or some kind of something happen. So she and I have been talking, but, um, so we are just excited and like i said if she wins if i win I, I i will be just excited if she wins if i win it i mean i would just be excited because she has the same idea that i have of what i want to do um hey kim hey sharon but i was you know i was just wanted to be one of us facebook crafters that win and um i just I just, that's what I wanted it to be one of us. So we'll see. It's going to get hard now to the end. It's going to get really, really hard because I know everybody's pushing toward the end to try to get people to vote. So, um, hey, Vicki. <coughs> okay. So let's get started. We're, I'm going to make something. We're going to use a few items, <laughs> crazy items that I've pulled. Um, thank you. Uh, is it WJ? Thank you. Um, yes, she is. She works hard too. And all of us crafters work hard on Facebook, all of us. And a couple other people that I'm friends with that are on Facebook, they, they craft on Facebook, um, and they were in the running too. They're getting people to vote for me as well. And I'm sure they'll get people to vote for Christy as well too. So, but you know, like we all, we all just want one of us to get it and it would just be exciting. Um, Yay. Thank y'all. Oh, Colin must be on. Hey, Colin. I didn't see you hop on. Okay. So, um, we are going to use a candlestick from the Dollar Tree. And I know y'all are like, y'all are going to go, what is she doing with this? But y'all just trust the process. <laughs> I tell y'all that all the time. Trust the process. Um, so anyway, and this container, I had it in my stash, um, 
for, I think I was putting writ dye in it and dyeing beads or something, but I just had this in our stash and this was the perfect, I need the lid, okay? You can use any lid, but this was like a package of two of these containers from the Dollar Tree and I'm using the lid, but you can use whatever lid you want. I thought this is the perfect size for what I'm gonna do. <coughs> and no, it's not a riser. <laughs> um, thank you, Dawn and Vicky. I'm so glad y'all are here and y'all are voting and I, I owe it all to you. I really do. Hey, Kathy. Um, hey, Brenda. So I'm, well, let's start with this. I'm gonna give this, of course, a good coat of chalk paint while we're sitting here talking. Oh, hey, Donna, thank you. Thank you for the prayers. Yes, my back is getting better every day. I, um, I do my walking every day like I'm supposed to around the block and all that kind of stuff. And I'm trying to be careful. I can't bend over. I can't twist at the waist. I can't, you know, I can't do any of that stuff, as y'all know, which I, can, I twist a little, but I know y'all were getting on to me the other night. Don't twist, don't twist. <laughs> um, so I, um, I have to do my walking and all that kind of stuff. So I'm just painting this. Hey, Cindy. Hey, Patricia. And y'all, I'm going to tell you, I struggle when I paint these because there's so many of those little bumps and stuff on this candlestick. It just, I just had to keep going back over it and back over it and back over it to get all the globs of paint. Because I'm a glob paint lever and I'll have a big glob of paint and it won't end up looking really pretty, but it's going to be okay. Thank you, Linda. Hey, Kim from Alabama. That's my neighbor, actually, because she's a state over from me. Um, Willie's, it is on my page. If you'll scroll down my page, I feel like I have bombarded y'all with all of that stuff. And I try not to bug y'all about voting, but, um, I know y'all forget. Cindy, it's on the main page. It's the DIY Hero Contest, and you can go to the link and vote. Um, every day, every 24 hours, you can vote. And so, hey, Elizabeth. There's Elizabeth with Ellie's Attic. She's my friend that... She has a page as well. So you have to go see her at Ellie's Attic. Um, so uh, you could vote every day, but now the voting starts over. So every time a new round starts, the voting gets zeroed out and it's just zero, um, starts at zero again. Hey, Mary. Um, so anyway, so I appreciate it. It's all you, it's not me. Um, y'all are the ones doing the voting and I so, so appreciate it. Um, you know, don't, you don't have to buy votes if you don't feel led to, that's fine. But it does, the votes, if you, if you purchase votes, it does go to a good cause. It goes to the, um, National Lung, Asso American Lung Association. I want to say that every time. Um, and my mother had emphysema and COPD and all the things and CHF. <clears throat> and so that is near and dear to my heart anyway. So that was another reason that I chose to do the contest because of that. Um, hey, Diane, thank you. Oh, Adela, you're so sweet. Y'all are, are really too, just too good to me, I promise. Um, I, I just never dreamed when I started this two years ago that it would be where it is now. I never dreamed it. Um, it's been a lot of work, but I'll, I will say it's been worth it. Um, so, Diana, this is the semifinals. So they take the top people from this round and then the next round will be the finals so it's four groups of eight people right now so it'll be four people in the end and then they'll pick it'll be the vote will start over and it will be zeroed out again <clears throat> hey Gwen so I'm gonna chat with y'all and paint this real quick Oh, Gayla, you're sweet, but I feel like I am. I feel like I just bug y'all to death, and I try not to, I don't text y'all about it just because I'm like, oh, I don't want to bother everybody with all these texts. Hey, Pat, I just saw you on Tanya's Live a little bit ago. <clears throat> hey, Vicki, let me give this a good dry, and then I gotta paint this, just part of it. Oh, Bridget, I'm so sorry, yes. Yeah, so it's near and dear to your heart, too, isn't it? Oh. Welcome, Nancy, if you're new. It looks like Robin's welcoming you. Yes. Yes, and I'm so happy too, but I really didn't think that I, I'd make it this far. Um, um, you have, it'll, six days. Next Thursday <laughs> is when it cuts off again. And then they'll take the first place person 
of all the groups, and then that will be the finals. <clears throat> and then you'll vote, I think, maybe a week. I'm not really sure because I didn't read that far into it. Yeah, this is Waverly. I'm sorry. Waverly Chalk Paint. I'm so sorry. It's upside down because I'm to the very bottom of this gigantic bottle. And um, it takes too long to get it all the way down to the bottom. So I turn it upside down. Oh, and y'all, my shirt. Let me see what, tell y'all what it says. It says, be pretty, be strong, be brave. And I said, I think it says, be kind. Yes. <clears throat> so my shirt, I'm, I think somebody asked about it. Um, is from my friend Misty at six, the number six, six monies creations. She, uh, I told y'all about the t-shirt club when, um, when I got in and this is the shirt for April. Um, so you can go to uh, her page six. Then if you type in six monies at the search bar on Facebook, it'll, you'll, it'll come up. And you, if you order before, if you join the t-shirt club before Monday, you can get this shirt, I think she told me. And then after that, you if you do it after Monday, you can get, um, you'll get May's shirt. Cause I did ask her, cause I said, I'm wearing the shirt tonight. The chalk paint, Walmart, come from Walmart. Okay, there's my white. Let me paint this and then while this is drying, our, our other crafters. Jimmy Lou, I'm not sure what you're asking. Thank you. And on this, this is the top to this. If you're just hopping on, it's a container from Dollar Tree that I had in my stash. And it was the perfect size. So you can definitely use any lid that you have or any kind of round wood or whatever to do what I'm going to do. <clears throat> this was just perfect. Thank you, Nancy. I'm in first. Yay. But that don't mean I'll stay that way. So I don't try to get to like, sometimes I don't even go look because I'm like, uh, you know. And then one of my, somebody will tell me, oh no, you're in second, we gotta vote. So I'm just gonna give this a quick coat because I'm not really worried about all of this, I guess. Um, I mean, you can definitely paint this the bottom if you want to. So I'm gonna let that dry. Y'all, I gotta have, I gotta have a little water or something. I feel like I'm getting down to the end of this bottle and it, you know how it gets all thick and kind of gummy and I'm just gonna add a little water to my paintbrush and try to, now maybe that'll help me out. Yeah, that's better. So I'm gonna do one more coat on this. Dolly, I know some people uh, don't have the Waverly anymore and mine does and I'm just waiting for the day that I waltz up in there and they took it all away and I'm gonna be like, oh, but a lot of people are using the, is it the folk art chalk paint? And they say it's good, it's really good. I haven't used it, but I do know that Michael's, their Art Minds brand chalk paint is good because I had to use it during um, when we couldn't go out and buy anything <laughs> two years ago. Is it two? It's been two years ago. Yeah, it's two years ago. Um, I had to get that. So when we couldn't get Waverly, because we couldn't get it and then we couldn't go get anything. So I used it then. So um, the Art Minds brain is good too. Finally stained a gum on machine at Hobby Lobby. Yes, Tammy, yes. I'm gonna cut some this weekend, hopefully. Um, and uh, I'll get those in the shop. Cause I know they, since they just put them out again, I was like, oh, okay, they put them out again. So I need to put my gumball machine stands back up. Uh, Tony, it's a contest that I'm in. It's a, it's a DIY, DIY hero thing that, uh, Barnwood Builders is putting on and, um, I'll get it. I'll be put in a magazine, like a layout in a magazine and a maker's magazine. And then it'll be $25,000, um, is the prize. So, Hey, you're okay, Laura. I'm just kind of prepping everything right now. So you haven't missed very much. Um, just doing a candlestick from the Dollar Tree, if you can see it. And I'm just giving it a coat of Waverly's, Waverly White chalk paint. And I'm touching it up, which I'm going to distress it. Y'all know me. I'm not going to leave it like it is. So it's going to cover up some of my imperfections. Look at my thumb. My imperfections. <laughs> hey, Patricia. <clears throat> Um, Tony, if you go to my main page, or if you tap my face, and it'll say the Turquoise Valentine, you can click that, and it'll take you to my page. And scroll down a little bit, and you'll see it. Six money. No, Patricia, it's M-O-N-E-Y-S. 
like one dollar bills like money that's their last name that's why it's six monies um monies m-o-n-e m-o-n-e-y-s <laughs> Uh-oh, Susan had to take her dog out before it started raining. Okay, so I've got it white, and then there's a lot of imperfections, so y'all don't think it looks all perfect because it does not, <laughs> I promise. It just looks real pretty back here, and it, you can't see any of the of the uh, my mistakes. So I'm just gonna kinda lightly dry this because it is plastic and I don't want it to all go wonky. This is a lid from a container from the Dollar Tree. If you're just hopping on, Yes, Dawn. I will try to cut some of those. I'm going to I'm gonna do the spring gnomes again. I will offer them again because those are a big hit and some people missed out on them this time. Are you? Yes, Robin. I will do the Target ones too. I will. Okay. Just kind of getting a little water because my paint is, you know how it gets. It's so thick at the end of the bottle. But I'm just kind of giving this a coat. Um... And I think I am trying to think of which way I'm going to do this. This way, that way, this way. I'm trying to think how. Because I might just give it a little. Um, I'm going to do this side. Um, I'm just going to hit it with a little bit of paint because you are going to see it. You might see it if you turn it upside down. That's the only way you're going to see it. Hey, Karen. I'm doing good, Wanda. Sorry, I was in deep thought there about what side I was going to paint. Um, I'm going to have to, now I'm going to have this all over me. Y'all know how I am. I'll have it down my elbows and everywhere else. As long as I don't get it on my new shirt, I'll be fine. <laughs> I will be fine. Yeah, this is my shirt of the month this month. And I love it because I, when I opened it up and I saw the color, I was like, oh! Uh, Rena, I can't, I, I just haven't done the snow globe ones because, you know, it was Christmas and all that stuff, but I will, yes. And... If you're in the group, the Turquoise Valentine's Crafters Reveal, then um, who was that? Was that Miss Judy that did the snow globe with the little flowers in it that was so adorable? I think it was Miss Judy. Yes, Carla, I will do the gumball things again. Hey, Tanya. There's Tanya with Hummingbird Paintery, my friend. So if you'll go check her out too, she can paint fantabulously. Look at my paint. <laughs> yep. So messy. <clears throat> What kind of car are, am I painting? What kind of, this? This is a lid just from one of those little Rubbermaid containers from the Dollar Tree. That's all it is. And I'm just kind of quickly going back over it so you won't see the blue. But this is going to be the bottom and you're not going to see it. But you're, when, if you do this project, you can do any, um, use any lid or rounds or anything like you, that you have, okay? So there's that. And I gotta get this off of me. My baby wipes. I ran out and I had to buy another pack. Um, hey Tammy, welcome, welcome. Okay, let me get this off my hand, y'all. I feel like I bathed down in it. Oh, Dana, Robin, you must be new, so welcome. <clears throat> Thank y'all for sprinkling. Hey Linda, hey Jenny. Okay. And I don't know what it is about this white, but when I go wash my hands, this stuff like will not come off. I just have to scrub it, but baby wipes take it off better. I don't know why, but it just does. Okay, so here is my candle holder and I got my top drying. And let's, I'm gonna take, oh y'all, I wanted to, let me grab my elephant real quick. This is steel. And I meant to grab my elephant. Hang on just a second. No, I don't have a pet elephant. It's just the elephant paint. Where is it? Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Y'all, there it is. Gosh, it's hiding from me. And I just noticed something in the back of my chair. There's a piece of... Piece of... There's a piece of that in the back of the top of the back of my chair y'all <laughs> it's crazy around here sometimes okay that was steel it's a little lighter than the elephant and i wanted the elephant <clears throat> susan we did me and my son had a, a date night last night um he turned 16 on sunday 
And y'all know, if you have kids that they grow up way too fast. And last was a good night for he and I to go by ourselves to go shopping and buy him some clothes and to just have, go out to eat and visit with him. And so we did. And so that's why I wasn't live. So I figured y'all would understand. Okay, so elephant. And I'm just going to basically um, kind of, y'all know how I, my little rusty, rusty chip brush, um, and I just dab some off. And I'm basically just going to distress it a little bit. This kind of looks really brown for some reason. It's supposed to be gray, but it looks brown. But So it just kind of brings out the little highlights. Y'all know, y'all seen me do this a bunch. You've probably seen all these other crafters do it a bunch too. Um, shirt of the month. Um, it's, it's my friend, Misty. Her name is Misty Money. Okay, her last name is Money, M-O-N-E-Y. And her, her page or her um, business is Six Monies, with an S, Creations. And um, I think it's Creations. Yeah, Six Monies. If you type in Six Monies, it'll come up on Facebook. And um, she does t-shirts. And this is like a shirt of the month. This is April shirt. And if you get in the club before Monday, you'll get this shirt. But if not, if you do it after Monday, you'll get May's shirt. So you don't know what you're going to get. You just know what size that you put down what you're getting. And it's a surprise every month. And so I was really surprised because I love the color. Um, and I love the saying, be pretty strong, be pretty brave, be pretty kind. Pretty kind. Okay. So you can distress however you want to. Just kind of dab, 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 brush, brush, brush. So then all your, or my imperfections of painting will be all covered up and it looks like really cool. <laughs> okay, gonna, I'm gonna leave, I'm gonna leave this white and you'll see why in just a minute. I'm not gonna distress that. Um, and you'll see why. Okay, so now we're gonna, we're gonna get down to the fun part, but I need to dry this because I gotta use it. That's right, Noreen. You gotta take what you can get with teenagers because um, they get to a point where they're like, I don't wanna be with my mom and all that kind of stuff. Katie, Katie, hey, Katie. Katie, Katie, you need to drop your link too. Katie's another one of my creative friends. Katie, drop your link too so they'll know what your page is because right now it is escaped me. Okay. <clears throat> so here is my painting. So Katie, oh Katie, what is your page? And I just saw you on TikTok just a little bit ago. Uh, okay. Yes, Penny, this is a, I think this is Bella Canvas, and it's really soft. So yes, it does fit true to size. Okay. Where is, oh. All right, so now I'm going to use, if y'all have found this from the Dollar Tree, the metal ribbon, I guess is what we call it. Um, this is um, the metal ribbon from Dollar Tree. Hobby Lobby has it too. Um, I chose, well, they all kind of have the same little holes in it, but I liked this one, and you'll see why in just a minute. Okay, so here's the crazy part. Um... All right, so what I wanna do is, I am going to, I gotta measure, cause I'm gonna, thank you, Teresa. I'm gonna wrap this around. Okay, and I'm going to measure, cause I want, I'm gonna put this around here. You're gonna see in a minute, it's gonna be so cute. Okay, so I'm gonna cut it. Y'all know I always cut it a little bigger than I need it. There it goes. Is that thing your, yeah, it is a lid. It is a lid to a, just a container from Dollar Tree. And the only reason I used it was because it was the perfect size that I needed. But yes, it is the lid, this lid. So I just use what I have. <clears throat> so you can use a wood round. You can use whatever you have in your stash. Oh, you lucked out and found some, Sonia? Okay. 
So I'm going, and I'm probably going to scratch this all up trying to get this done, but I'm going to put this around here, but I'm not going to glue it to it just yet. Okay. All right. So I'm going to do it. It's going to look like this. Okay. Looks like a little crayon. Okay. So I'm going to take a piece of, I know y'all can't see that. Maybe you can. Floral wire that I have, and I'm going to wire it together. Okay. And you're, you're going to see why in just a second. I'm scratching all the paint off, but it's okay. All right, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to back it up just a little so I can have some room for some other stuff we're going to put on it. So I'm basically just going to wire this together. Yay, Wendy, thank you. And yeah, you're going to see this green wire, but I'm not too worried about it. I can hit it with that elephant paint. Um, so I just basically... Put it together like that to where it's holding itself together because i don't know how well hot glue would work for that but uh it might work bend that piece okay now i'm all you know and it's kind of wanting to do this so i'm gonna go over here and do it again just to hold it right okay Hey, Lori, you found the last two rolls at your DT. Now, Hobby, and Hobby Lobby does sell it. So if you can't find it at your Dollar Tree, don't worry. They do have it at Hobby Lobby. Um, and just keep looking because they may get it at your Dollar Tree. Yeah, it just comes on a little roll. It's just all rolled up together like this, and it has a tag on it. That's just how it is, and they're in a little box. That's it. So it's not like it's on a spool or anything like that. Okay, let me get that these little ends I don't want to poke my eye out with a piece that's flying everywhere okay all right so let me pliers i got some pliers cleaned out all my bins the other day and found my little pliers that i've been hunting i cleaned out my cart it was awful so i'm just kind of mashing those ends of that floral wire so it's not sticking out bending my little prongs hold on hold on and you can also just take take the pliers and twist it and get it tight and that's kind of what I'm needing to do because I left it kind of loose oh happy birthday to my son yes he will be sweet 16 on Sunday and I just can't believe it okay so I'm gonna take a little paintbrush and just kind of go over my floral wire. And that way you can't, it's green, so that way you can't see it, the green as much with my elephant paint. So you can't see my wire, see the wire. You can't really tell it's green much, but it kind of blends in, but it's the back, so we'll be good. Okay, so that's my base. This is gonna go around it. Now, here's where the magic happens. <clears throat> now, use what you have, like I always say, and you don't have to go buy the exact wire that I have. But if you want to, you can. I have these um, from when I made the little fairy doll, the little fairy uh, flower fairies. And as a matter of fact, Amanda made, she's doing a whole flower series this week. And she did the little fairies with the little, with these stems and the, the flowers as their little skirts. And I happened to see it. And I was like, oh my gosh, she did those little fairies too. And I did them. Um, I did them a while back. I didn't do them on here. I just did them for me. And they require this little wire. <clears throat> so it is floral wire, but it's, it's fabric coated, okay? Like this. It's got like a, instead of the green, like this, it has got this white, it's just like fabric on the outside. I don't know how else to describe it. And the tag just says, Floral stem wire. It doesn't say anything special, but it's from Hobby Lobby in the floral section. Um, and it, this is 20 gauge, okay? So remember that the smaller your numbers go, the stiffer the wire will be. The higher the numbers, the thinner it is. And that is backwards, but to me. Okay, so I'm going to need four of these. And I did practice this today, um, but... I just thought about it, that I got to paint on. Okay, so real quick, 
real quick because I know I'm like, y'all are saying, okay, she's done painted everything. But no, I haven't painted everything because I forgot. Um, I'm going to, I'm just going to real quickly paint my, this is, since it's got fabric on the outside, I can paint it. So it won't take me but a second. I'm sorry. <laughs> y'all sitting here watching me paint all this kind of stuff, but it won't take much because I'm not trying to do perfect and get it all just totally perfect because I want it to look a little different. Okay. Yeah, I want it to be different in spots. And I'll dry it so we don't have to wait. But I'm just taking my paintbrush, if y'all can see, and um, and just kind of ruin my paintbrush down it because it's got fabric on the outside, so it takes the paint really good. I didn't paint them today when I practiced. I just did the... Um, I did a practice run, and I'll show you my practice run one in just a minute. Because I didn't finish it. I just uh, kind of did it what I had in my mind of how I wanted it to be to see if I could actually pull it off and make it work. And it worked. So, like I said, I just kind of dug through my stash and grabbed some things that, like these floral stems, I haven't used these in years. And I dug them out. I'm like, oh, I got those. I can do that. Because... But you could use wire. I know they have wire at the Dollar Tree sometimes. Um, move them. Let me get these kind of dry. They look like those little sparklers at 4th of July. That's what they look like now. They're great. Those gray sticks. So I've got to get them dry. Yeah, my shirt, if you go to Six Money's Creations, and um, she has a... A link to her site you can either do the t-shirt club or you can get this t-shirt this month but if you do the club it'll come every single month and you'll be surprised at what comes in the mail and I love t-shirts y'all know I'm I'm a t-shirt girl this heat gun makes me sweat y'all makes me hot if it's dry the paper's dry so they ought to be dry right Okay, and you'll see why I had to paint them in a minute. I don't want them to be white. They do look like sparklers. <laughs> okay, I think they're dry. Dry enough. Okay, so now I'm sweating. <laughs> it makes me so hot. Okay, so now I'm going to move everything so y'all can see. I hope you can see because I got this gray across here. All right, so this is pretty... I can explain it to you without having to show you, but... All right, so we're gonna we're gonna make this shape, okay? So I'm gonna lay them like a cross, okay? Plus sign across, and I'm getting them kind of even on the ends. All right, so here's my two, and I'm going to wrap one side around the middle so it attaches them, and I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side just because I want it to be secure. So I'm just gonna. Do that. Did I, do, I didn't do the right side. I did the same side twice. <laughs> did I practice this today? Yes, I did practice this today. <laughs> you can't tell. Okay. All right. So, I just kind of folded it over one over the other. So, they're attached. Okay. So, now we have that. And it doesn't matter what the center looks like, but I'm just going to squish it together and try to get it to look halfway straight. Okay, so that's what I have. See the little, I just kinda folded them one over the other so they're connected, all right? Now I'm gonna lay it down. Hey Terry, welcome, welcome. Deborah, you just asked me, I think it's 26 and then you use 350 shipping or something like that. But you can go to the site and look because I, I, lo oh, I looked and like I did I, when I did the shirt thing, I don't remember, but I think it's 26 and then it's shipping. I think that's what it is. Okay, so I have this. Now we're going to take our next one. And you guessed it, we're going to go this way. So we're kind of making like this spoke looking thing, okay? Um, and if you remember, I did a beaded pumpkin like two years ago in the fall. And it started off looking just like this, but that's not what we're doing. 
I'm good, Lynn. I am, I'm doing better every day. I feel, I'm starting to feel more like myself. Okay, so here is this. And I already see I got to paint that because I didn't go far enough out. So I just kind of looped it over the center. So it looks like a spider now. And now I got one more. And I'm going to go, trying to find which space to go in. All right, that one, this one, this one, that one, that one. Okay, now I had to figure out where I was going. Okay. <clears throat> so, same thing. I'm just basically going to wrap it around the center and secure it in the middle. So they're all connected together. And then you can kind of fix them and straighten them, and we'll do that in a minute too. Okay. So this is what, this is what we have. <laughs> and I've got, got to get a paintbrush and paint this one because I didn't paint near far enough on this one thing. So I got to dab a little paint on it because it's white all the way down the backside. I don't know what happened. I missed the whole side. But it's okay if there's white in some spots. I'm not too terribly worried about it because... I don't want it to look perfect. So y'all are probably guessing now what I'm making or something like it. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> Maybe you're all like, this lady's crazy. She don't know, I don't know what she's doing. Maybe go on site. Yeah, um, so just, if you'll go to her site, you'll see it. But you have the option to get this shirt by itself or the club. And it'll, there'll be one that comes every month. An umbrella. No, Chelsea. That's a good guess, though. That would... I could make an umbrella out of that. Yeah, we could, but it's not an umbrella. That would be fitting, though, because it is April. Dry, 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 dry. Okay. All right. So, now, here comes the fun part for me, actually. It's really not fun, but... Okay. So, you know, we have this, and we have this. We're going to join these, and now you know what I'm making. So... I'm actually going to put this on my container. You could use a jar or whatever, or you could just form it with your hands. So I'm going to get them all kind of straight. And I don't really want them to bend right there, but this is going to let me kind of, whoop, kind of get them formed a little bit down. And then you can kind of fix them how you want them. Looks like a spider now. <laughs> Yeah, I have no clue what I'm wanting. Susan, ding, ding, ding. A bird cage. It's like a wire, like a little, um, kind of like a cloche. You know what a cloche is? It's kind of, I don't have one of the Dollar Tree cloches up here somewhere. Um, so we're going to make this, meet this together. So I'm going to take one of the little spider legs. I know y'all are thinking, Lord. All right. Um, I'm going to take one of the little spider legs and see this ribbon has little holes. Let me turn it around where you can see. It has little holes. So I'm actually going in the holes right there and that's where I'm attaching the, um, so I'm going to put my wire down in the hole and I, for right now, I'm just going to bend it up like this because it's going to hold it there because I got to get them all done and then we'll get them all even. Um, okay, so I'm going to go right across, and then I'm going to do this next one that's straight across from this one, and then I'm just going to keep doing that. So now I'm going to go across the thing, and I'm going to go in here. Now, it gets easier after you get the first couple of ones done. It feels like a spider. It looks like a spider. Yes, Martha, a cloche. Okay. I guess that's how you say that word. Cloche. Is that, is it French? I don't, I don't, don't get me to no. Oh, there's Mandy with Western Grace Home Decor and Design. I showed y'all, I put her in the group last night, y'all, because she made, um, she made the smash can project with a popcorn tin. So if you didn't see that, you got to go to her page and watch her make that. She made it last night. And I had asked her to do that. I was like, oh my gosh, do it with the popcorn tin. She's like, oh, I've got one of those. It'd be so awesome. And so she did it last night, y'all. And that thing was beautiful. So if you have one of those popcorn tins from Christmas, um, definitely don't throw it away. Don't send it to Goodwill. Um, make you a smash can with a popcorn. She just opened the bottom up with a can opener. 
And then she even showed you how to use the top and the bottom. So she recycled the whole entire can. She did not waste any of the can. All right, so I am going, uh-oh. Now I see I've got to move one because I've got too much of a space. So that's my goal is I'm just trying to attach them and do it kind of where my little bars. Cloche, Nancy, um... A cloche is a glass dome that goes over the top of something, and it has a base, and it's like a big, tall glass dome. That's what a cloche is. Um, oh, Amanda has a popcorn tin. Amanda, you got to go see Mandy when she smashed that thing, and she cut the top open, of course, off the live, but she just smashed the bottom of it right there on the live, and she painted it really pretty. And put some lamb's ear and some magnolias, I think it was, in it. And put, like, this raggedy ribbon around it. It was beautiful. You got to go see it. I was like, yay, she's doing it. Because I wanted her to do it. I was like, ah, you got to do it. You got to do it. Go big. Go big or go home, girl. <laughs> Looks like a hot air balloon. Okay. So, now, like I said, you kind of have to play with it. And just get them all even. around, Even around this way. And then I'm trying to get them even this way. Like, this one is pulling a little too much, so I'm kind of making it shorter. Okay. So, if you have wire, this would look great. Um, you could, If you wanted to use the floral wire, like I used to do it, you can do that, too. You could just paint the floral wire. It's thin, but you, it'll, it'll work. <clears throat> but I just had this, which is a little thicker, but I didn't have metal wire that I could get to. Okay. So, this is what I have, and I just went through each one of these little holes down here. You see how I did it? I just kind of went from one side to the other, and then that side to that side, and that side. You know, I just kind of made sure they're somewhat spaced evenly, okay? So, now I've got to deal with these little ends around here. So, I'm going to just bend them inward. Can y'all see? I'm trying to see how I did that. I just bent it inward. I just, tw I just twisted it around like this. I'm just twisting it. And then I'm just going inside of the actual little ring part. And then we're going to deal with a minute. <laughs> That's the best way I know. Yeah, Mandy, post your page. She did. It was, she commented as her page. There you go. So, y'all got to go see that. It's in the group, too. I put it in the group last night because I was like, oh, y'all are all doing the smash cans. And y'all will love this because she's doing the actual... Big popcorn. Um, it's the name of her page is Western Grace Home Decor and Design. All right, so I'm just going around. So, so I'm gonna show you. So I'm just taking it, my my little end, and I'm wrapping it over, and coming back down through, and then just to secure it. That's all. Just the best way you know how to tie it and secure it where it's not gonna come loose. That's all I'm doing. Yeah, so it's a bird cage. Awesome. It's my crown. It does look like a little crown, doesn't it? <laughs> okay. All right. So I'm now I'm just trying to get them kind of shaped like I want it cuz I think now <laughs> It's a little wonky, but you just have to play with it, I guess. Here is my first trial round. That was my first one I did today. And I was like, yes, I can make this happen. And then I, I left it like that. <laughs> so I can make another one. So I'm going to snip, I guess, snip these off up in here somewhere with my, I know I've got wire cutters somewhere. Where, where, where? Where, where? I don't know where they are. So I'm just going to snip these off with my snips or whatever these heavy duty things are. They're flying over there. <laughs> I'll have to sweep them up. Yes, Pamela, it's a bird cage, like a little wire bird cage. So I've got to tell y'all about how a little. A little accident today. Well, it, I mean, it was it was an accident, but y'all know my lasers. I have um, my lasers, and they have a compressor, air compressor, that's hooked to them. 
Well, we've been having issues with the motor, so my husband has hooked up a smaller compressor to, to it instead of our big one until he can figure out the, what's going on with the motor of the big compressor. And when I say big compressor, I mean it's taller than me, okay? And so this one's a smaller one. You know, it's like three foot off the ground or something. And so he told me, you gotta take the disconnect off and then you have to like blow out the moisture that gets caught in it. And so I did that, but I forgot to shut the valve off to the actual tank of the compressor. So the air comes blowing out at whatever PSI, whatever pounds per, whatever that means. And it's just the pressure. And my hand was right there in the way. And do y'all see all those little dots on my hand? Um, air will break skin, okay? So that is basically what happened. And I learned that today. I have all these little, it went, and it was blowing full force right there on my wrist. And then I started bleeding. Oh, yes, but it's, I mean, I'm fine, and it's, it, it got swollen for a few minutes, and it was fine after that, um, but yeah, <laughs> it was, I was like, oh, don't do that, <laughs> I hadn't told him that yet, <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> shh, I don't tell him, so I was fine, it was fine, okay, all right, so here is my little bird cage deal or something or whatever that one could be a little longer but it's a little late now so see they're all attached so now i'm gonna hopefully that this is going to fit because i did make it a little bigger because i knew i was going to have to have room for all of that wire now i'm going to slide it back onto my lid scratch some of the paint off but i'm going to get all this wire down in here Get down in there. Okay. I did it the wrong way. I guess maybe I should have painted. I'm going to do it this way because I, I should have painted both sides. But anyway. Okay. So. So, yeah. I work with, with big, big machines. <laughs> and so, yeah. Sometimes that happens. You know, I zapped myself with a laser. What? Several months ago. <laughs> I zapped. The laser got me right here. But uh, at least it wasn't full force. It was only the test. And so, yeah, it would have went right through my hand uh, if it had been full force. But it, we were trying to align the mirrors up. You have mirrors where the laser goes around the machine. And you have... Um, so you have to test it. Okay. So I think I've gotten it pretty much where I want it. And yes, I have all these blue marks on the inside because I scratched all my paint off. But... I'm gonna put stuff and it's not gonna show. Just making sure it doesn't show all around here. Okay, so now this is what we have. I know y'all think, what in the world? So this is what we are going to have, but I gotta put stuff in it. I gotta, we gotta fix it. And I'm gonna glue it last because I'm going to um, E6000 it probably because this is plastic and I'll go back and paint this later so it's not blue. But use whatever lid you have. If you have, um, hey Shelby, Shelby's a newbie. Um, welcome, welcome. I am gonna just take some hot glue though and hit down in here a little bit because it's wanting to kind of shift around and connect it to my lid, the wire, I mean the tin. What did I put the wire through? It is this metal ribbon from Dollar Tree. Hobby Lobby has it too. And then this is a lid from it's that. <laughs> it's a container. I just used what I had. So um, you use what you have and it'll all be good. All right. So here is my, ta-da. There's my little wonky bird cage, but I wanted it to be wonky. I don't want it to look like it's been, you know, constructed. I want it to look rustic and vintage. So now I have to finish this one too. Oh, I almost forgot. I'm gonna put this on top for my little thing, but you could use, I mean, you could use a, come on, I can't get hold of anything. You could use a, a bead and put on the top like this. 
Um, you could use a split ball and put on the top, or you don't have to put anything on the top if you don't want to. But I gotta paint this, and I think I need something to hold it. I'm gonna do this, because <laughs> I don't wanna get my fingers all messy again. I'm just gonna hit this really quick. I totally forgot about it until I saw it over here. You thought I was making a crown. Well, it could be. It really could be a crown. You could totally make that a crown. Especially with this. This stuff looks like a crown. Um, thank you, Martha. A rhinestone button for this shabby. Yes, Kathy, you so could. You sure you show could. You sure could. <laughs> I can't talk. You could put um something blingy up here and definitely make this shabby chic for, I mean, really, you could. Okay, so now I'm gonna get my pliers. I'm gonna mash all this up here at the top and get this wire kind of flat to where my little cap has somewhere to sit. And this is just one of those little dowel caps that I, I use them for little feet on stuff sometimes. Stop. Okay, I'm gonna sit here and hold it. Yay, Kelly, you're loving it. Show enough, Chelsea said. <laughs> Almost, that's what I said. You show can. You sure can. <laughs> okay. All right, so there's my little... And like I said, I like it because it is wonky. I don't want it to look perfect. <clears throat> I got strings all in here now. You glue one thing and you have 10,000 spiderweb strings. I mean, I don't understand it. Okay, so let's, I'm gonna glue it last. Where is my stuff? It's stuff, it's stuff, it's stuff. Okay, so now, you. I showed y'all how to make the bird nest, right? The, when I'd use the Mod Podge and stuff, you could totally put the bird, the bird nest in there. And I still might do that. I don't know yet. I'm going to get out some more messiness. Oh, this is, I think it's Walmart. It's just the green moss. I never can find the green moss at my Dollar Tree. <laughs> this is the show. No. Oh, uh, Marilyn, you're in rainy Minnesota. Yeah, it, it was rained here last this past week, and we've had rain every week for the last, like, month. But it's April, so I think I'm going to... Y'all, this bag is sticking to my arm. Um, I think I'm going to just kind of hot glue some of this green moss around the sides, and that's going to hide where I scratched up my white paint. So I'm just putting some glue, um, hot glue, and then I'm just sticking this stuff down. See? Because you can see where I scratched my, I scratched the paint. Hold on. See? So I'm just kind of covering that up. Windy Colorado. Yeah. Show, no show did. <laughs> I did say it. And it, I didn't even mean to. I don't. I never say that, so I don't know where that came from. Uh, so anyway, so I'm just kind of going around, putting a little green, because this stuff is super messy, and sticking it here and there. And this is really easy, y'all. This is not very hard. Um, so if you have. <laughs> Thank you, Bobby. If you have some wire and some kind of a, a round circle, a lid, or a um, a piece of wood round or something like that, this is totally doable. Okay, so now I'm just going to... See, look how messy. Ugh. So I want all the excess to come off. I don't want it to be hanging around. <laughs> Glue strings everywhere. Glue that down so it doesn't um, shed. Look around the ribbon box. Oh, okay, somebody's telling about the ribbon. I found mine over where they have all the floral foam and stuff. They have the floral foam and the, the little stones and stuff, the rocks and all that. The ribbon was in a box and it was sitting on the shelf. That's where I found mine. Oh, thank you, Lara. Thank you. 
You're so sweet. I know. I'm so excited. I'm just, I was really shocked. I was like, oh my goodness. Okay. All right. So there it is. I just got it going all around the sides and trying to get off all the excess because it's everywhere. But y'all see how cute this is? Hey, Libby from Mississippi. That's where I am. We are neighbors somehow. All right, let me cover this up because I can still see part of my little wire right there. So yeah, just use it to cover up your imperfections. And you can use the Spanish moss too. Um, I have some of that over here. Um, this is the Walmart brand, but if you need to know how to make the bird nest, I made that sign right there, and I showed y'all how. It's been about a month ago. It's before I had back surgery, I think. I think. Um, and so I think I am gonna just squeeze. You just move your little bars out of the way. So I'm gonna put my little nest in there, just like that. Oh, thank you, Journey. Okay, look how cute. See? Okay, but I'm not done. Y'all, do y'all see this? Do y'all see this hot mess of this moss? Just, just a warning to you. This is not for the faint of heart for messiness because it is a hot mess. But my little trusty, dusty vacuum cleaner that I love, love, love. We'll just get it all right up. And yeah. I got tired of sweeping stuff off in the garbage. You're in Mount Olive, Sharon. I am in Hernando. Okay, so look how cute it looks. I mean, I don't want it to look perfect. I want it to look kind of wonky like that because it looks kind of old and vintage and that kind of thing. All right, so now we're going to put it up here just so y'all can see what it's going to look like. I keep playing with it because it is wonky. <laughs> But I like wonky. But look how stinking cute this is. All right. Now, y'all hear me all the time. I talk about mushroom birds. Do y'all know what I'm talking about? I say that. I've said it a few times and people go, I've never heard of mushroom birds. This is a mushroom bird. That's what I call it. I don't know where I've heard that all my life, I guess. But it's just that little, um, oh, it's all over my shirt. Yeah, I'm sure it is. Um, don't sneeze right now, right, Charlene? <laughs> this moss explosion. These are those little birds they have in the um, Hobby Lobby section uh, of where the floral and all the little fairy garden stuff is. This came, these came from um, Michael's, and I think I had a coupon like when stuff was half off. But isn't he pretty? But this is a bigger bird, so I'm trying to see that bird. And I'm going to glue it to my stand. I'm just going to do it last. Every step, I love it more and more. I know y'all thought I was crazy. Oh, you're in Mendenhall? Awesome. Mississippi Gulf Coast. Teresa, my brother's on the Gulf Coast, and he is a beekeeper. And they, oh, y'all, I got to tell y'all, they rescued a hive or a, they went to somebody's house that had, it wasn't a swarm, but there was a hive in somebody's, like, eve of their porch, inside the porch. And I'll need to post a picture in the group, but it was, it, it was round and it looked just like a bee skeep. It was, it had the big waves in it. It was so cool looking. I got to post a picture. And I was like, oh, that looks like, a, like what I say a bird, I mean, a beehive looks like. Okay, so I don't know what bird I should put. But I really like the blue bird. Isn't he sweet? Look how stinking cute. Now, he's big. And then this one is small, but he don't have a lot of color. Let me get his little wire fixed. So, he looks a little small. But he's still cute. Um, yes, Dollar Tree has them too. Yes, I've seen them. At, I know at Christmas they have the sparkly ones. And they'll have these every once in a while you'll see them. But these have like a clip on the bottom. I think I'm going to go with him. Because I really like him because he's blue. Even though his he matches my decor in here. and um, But I'm going to glue the base on in just a second. But isn't he cute? See, he's in my little bird cage. But you could totally like put little ivy going down this or all kinds of stuff. I had I had a thought right before I came live. I was running around trying to get this together. And I don't know if this is gonna work or not. 
but y'all know I use this. Whoa! I just crashed him over to the side. Oh, sit down. Okay, you're all right. It's okay. Sit down. You're good. It's all right. <laughs> I knocked him over. Okay. All right, so I have this fabric. Y'all know I use this all the time. Somebody told me what it was called, and I don't remember. Y'all, there's literally moss everywhere. A bluebird. Okay, and um, I have this fabric. Y'all know I love to stamp on fabric. And I thought, I got my, my letter stamps. I showed y'all that the other day because I saw them in, in Michael's. Let's see if my end's going to stick. They're getting to where I need, I need to clean them really good because they won't stick. So I'm going to spell out nest where there's an S, there's a T, E. I was trying to find the E. I couldn't find it. But I can tell I need to clean them good because they won't stick as good. Add an egg. Yes, I need to dig out an egg, an, uh, an egg from my Easter stuff. I got a bin of it over there that's ready to go up in the attic. Okay. So I'm trying to figure out stuff to put in my house after I take my Easter down, which I have not done yet. So if you have not, we're in the same boat. So I'm going to take my, my nest. See if y'all see it. So it's backwards to me, but then when you stamp it, it's correct. Okay. This is my new stamp pad. So I'm going to see how it does. Um, well, I did it the other day on that fabric, didn't I? With that new, that uh, B thing I did. Okay, so I'm going to just stamp it on my fabric. Oh, it's beautiful. Now, I'm going to see if I can tear it. Yes. I kind of distorted it a little bit. That was not good, Lee. Now I need to do it again. Y'all, I just messed it up. I gotta do it again. Duck cloth, it's not as thick as duck cloth. It's, um, somebody called the name of it the other day. <laughs> Lou Ann, so funny. Y'all laughing at me because I was talking to my bird. Okay, all right. Second try. You took your Easter down. I have not taken mine down, and I need to, and put up something kind of springy. Let's see. All right, so this is what I have. So I think I like the the ragged edge, but I gotta make it look like the other one. But yeah, I guess I can pull some strings and make it look like that. Y'all, I am sweating to death. I don't know what it is. I'm having a hot flash. Okay, so I got nest. And then I'm gonna cut it like this. Cutting it to a point. And then I'm going to cut the point off. Like that. So, I thought I could take... Where's my jute? Where's the end of my jute? Look, y'all, I got tickled last night because if you go watch Mandy, watch her do that popcorn tan, she gets out this... Toward the end of the video, she gets out this big... Her, she gets out her rope or her jute or whatever. Y'all, she she does this. She she gets it out from under wherever it was and she goes, boom. And y'all, it is this big, gigantuous roll of jute or rope or whatever it was. <laughs> that was this big. And I told her, I said, I'm over here with my little roll of jute. And she's got this monstrous roll that's humongous. She puts it, she uses it to hang it with. And, um, y'all, I laughed when she got that roll out. I thought, my gosh, she want to be a cowboy. She got so much rope. <laughs> y'all had to go see it. It was hilarious because I messaged her afterwards. I was like, girl, I said, you're wanting to be a cowboy <laughs> with all that jute rope, whatever you got. Okay, so I cut it kind of like a little tag. And this is just me adding little embellishments to this. You could totally do, you know, whatever embellishments you want to do. You could stamp a little bird on here with those bird stamps from the Dollar Tree. I'm trying to think where they are. I cut a hole in it just to make a hole. I don't have a punch that'll punch through fabric or anything. But now, so I'm just pulling my jute through there. And you don't even have to do a tag. It's just a little extra something something. Is Nancy, you saw that rope? 
it was it not a monstrous she just like pounds it on the <laughs> and i got so tickled i told her i said you want to be a cowboy ah! y'all i gotta glue that i'm gonna glue it in a second because i want to do it last because i gotta let the e6000 set all right so i'm just gonna tie this here and add just a little something something to the top totally not doable you don't have to do it <laughs> yeah she lives in colorado too she's gonna make her some lassos that's what i told her the name of her page is western home western grace home decor and design and her her husband is a goofball and he keeps me rolling judy just put it but i'd i'd laugh at him so much um but then she got out that big old thing of um jute and i was like girl you killing me with <laughs> i was like goodness gracious at all the rope so like see you could just put this little tag on here and let it hang i mean you don't have to do that but you totally could so i just leave it there for now and see if i if it grows on me but there's my little see how pretty those it's stamped on that fabric i love to stamp on fabric <laughs> There's, yeah, Judy's put her page up. Hey, Carol. Okay, so now I'm going to take, I didn't even get it out ahead of time and I gotta find it in my bucket of the mini things. All my super glue and my glue. Okay, let's see. Cause I want this to stay. <laughs> there Mandy's, there's her page right there in the comments. Yes, <laughs> Mandy's gonna be a cowboy. Okay, it came out. So this key, if you don't have one of these for your E6000, it's wonderful, wonderful. Okay, so I'm just gonna put a little E6000 here and there because this this top is plastic. And yes, I'll probably go back and paint that because I can't stand it now. Um, so I'm just gonna put E6000 all the way around the rim and I'll let this sit overnight and let it dry. Because if I put hot glue on it, it's definitely going to melt that plastic, that Dollar Tree lid plastic. So I'm just, it's got a dot. So I can kind of see where this needs to be. Let's see if I can mash it down. Get it. I mean, you know, you've got some, a lot of time to move it around. So, because it doesn't set up instantly. Okay, so there is my little bird and my little nest tag isn't it cute i love him those little pink clamps yes i use these all the time the dollar tree clamps yes they're awesome 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 isn't it cute uh vicky if you'll go to um if you're in the group my my amazon shop link is at the top and also on my main page my link tree is there you can click my link link click my link tree and it'll say Amazon shop and you go there and it's, they're there. But what it does is um, you can roll up your tube to where you get every drop out of this tube. Because y'all know how many of you ever throw, thrown a tube of this away that was all crinkled up. You couldn't mash it and it had a hole in the side. It was oozing out the side and all that. And this solves that problem. And I love it. I will get every drop of this out. It'll last me forever. Um, so, yeah, Wendy Stafford is hilarious. <laughs> He is. But y'all, look how stinking cute this is. Let me get my, my thumbnail shot. Because <laughs> I have to pick out which picture in the video I want to put for the thumbnail. Cute. Look how cute it is. I hope y'all make one of these. I absolutely love it. Because I'm going to set this in my spring decor in my home. And I'll probably make the other one. This was my practice run. I will probably make another one and put back here. Because I have another bird, right? have two birds but you wouldn't even have to put a bird in yours you could put eggs in the nest um you could put um i mean you could put a bunny in there you could put anything you wanted to in this little cloche this little even though you can't see it but you'll see it on the pictures but look how cute and that was so easy guys y'all can do this uh, cindy's like it's amazing what you start with and come up with well, I just see stuff, and then I'm like, how can I make this come to be? And so, then I started digging through my stash. I was like, I need something round. I need something to attach. Because my first... Okay, so this is where my mind goes. Something round. A jar lid. Okay? Punch holes in the jar lid and attach the wire. 
And then I was like, well, I actually started, I was going to take my lighter and burn and get this hot and melt holes in this plastic top. So that's where my mind went. I started trying that. And then I was like, hmm, this is going to take forever. What can I put on here to get it? And I was like, oh, that metal ribbon. And I went and got it because it's got holes in it. It's going to make it look pretty anyway. And so um, I can attach the wire to it just like that. And I just kind of made it happen. So that's kind of where my mind goes. Like, well, it needs to be on a pedestal. So I have this. I had this little votive, which is really pretty, that I got from Goodwill for 99 cents. Um, I could have put it on the bottom. So you can put anything on the bottom you want to. You don't even have to have a bottom if you don't want to. I had this, but this is from Dollar Tree as well. But the more I sat here and looked at it, it's not level. Like, well, it's going to make a liar out of me now. See, it's like... When you look at it, I can tell that it's not flat. So I was like, oh, my birdcage is going to be all crooked. So that's how I ended up with just the regular old candlestick from Dollar Tree. And yes, I'm going to paint that after this dries. Make sure I got that centered. I'm going to paint under there. Uh, Jill, her page is Western Grace Home Decor and Design. Um, there she is. She just commented. So if you'll click right there. It'll take you right to her page. And you got to go see the popcorn tin. It is hilarious. She got out that. When y'all, y'all are going to laugh when she gets out that roll of jute. She needs to take a picture of herself holding that thing and put it on her page. Yes, my, like Tanya said, my mind kind of just goes crazy. It's like I just figure out, okay, I need this, I need this. How can I make this? Like this wire. I didn't have any wire. Because, um, I, so I thought, okay, what can I use? So I started looking around in my wire stuff and I thought, oh, I'll use these and I'll paint them. But you probably have wire and you could use floral wire if you wanted to. I mean, it's thinner, but you could it's totally doable. Um, thank you, Maria. Hey, Monica. But so that's just kind of where my mind goes. And, and then I sat down and this was my trial dry run. So now I get to do two, and I guess I'll have to put it on the on the wonky one. <laughs> Maybe I can make it sit up. But I've already used my lid, so now I don't, I don't have a lid. Um, oh, thank you, Kelly. That's just how my mind works. Like, I'll just, I don't know. <laughs> Kathy loves my thinking. Um, but now i got to figure out what to do with this. What can we do with this? What if I did the tissue paper trick all around it like I did on the bee jar? Where's my bee jar? On that bee jar right there. And put some jute around the top and I'd have me a little vase. Uh, what did I use um, for the wire? It's just some floral stems I had. I've had these for years because I made some little fairies. And that this was their arms and legs. Uh, Amanda made, made some fairies. She's done flowers all week, so I'm not sure if she did them last night or night before. She'd made some little fairies, and I've made them too in the past, and I had these this wire from uh, Hobby Lobby, and it's fabric-coated. It doesn't even say on here, but it's fabric-coated floral wire, and it's 20 gauge, so the, the lower the number, the thicker the wire is, which I, I don't know who thought of that, but <laughs> I don't like the way they do that. Um, hey, Becky. Oh, yeah, Robin, we can make a fairy a fairy house with this? Yes, we could do that. We could put some clay over it and make a fairy house. Clay under it to level it out. Yes, Becky, you're so smart. Because if I put this and I put my round piece on, I can put, like, build it up with some glue and make it, like, where it's not. See, it's, it's so unlevel. And it's not the table because the table's flat. So, I mean, the table, it doesn't go this way, is <laughs> that. Um, metal head scratcher work for the cage. Oh, <gasps> Tony, yes! One of those little metal thingies. Yes, that would look so cool. Do they have those at Dollar Tree? Yes, you could do that. Oh, man. Yes, you could totally, we could make a gnome. Um, if I had a big flower pot, you could put a, 
hat on and make a, one of those pothead gnomes. Oh, Robin, you make fairy houses? Cool. You put those in the group because I want to see a beehive. And, yes, we could wrap. We could get Mandy's rope that she has. And we can wrap it around here. Uh, paint brushes, yes. Uh, yes, my, my mason jars. This is the yard milkshakes. If you've never had one of those, it's diabetes in a jar, but it's really good. <laughs> um, but you could totally put use it for your water and your paint brushes. For the life of me, I cannot look at anything and visualize the way to make it. My brain just did. And see, that's just how my brain works. It's like, I'll just have to look at something for a minute. And I'm like, hmm, I could buy it for $10, but I could make it with $100 worth of craft supplies. <laughs> but I, I have so much in here. It's like, oh, yeah, I can go home. I have all that stuff to make that. But the problem is, will you make it? Like, there is a, there's a vendor mall in my town. Well, it's in my county. It's not in my town, but a town adjacent to us. And there's a lady that makes signs. And she has beautiful, beautiful signs for your home with the wood frame and all that. It's, they're gorgeous signs. And she has a sign in her booth that says, um, yes, I know that you can probably make this. And then it's like dot, dot, dot. And then it says, but will you? <laughs> and that's the thing. If something's sitting right there and you can buy it, or would you rather go home and cut the wood and stain the wood and do all the things? And, um, uh, Gala, yes, I got my medicine bottles over here. We need to make something with them. Oh, Robin, yes. Look at Robin. She is like the fairy house queen. Look at her with the rocks in the chimney. And <laughs> that'd be so cute. But yes, but, but, you know, that's the truth. You know, will you go home and do it? Because it takes a lot to make that kind of stuff. Um, Nancy, my fancy water holder. It's over here. It is over here. What colors do we need for the paint party tomorrow? Um, I hadn't decided yet, but I'll, we'll, I'll post in the group about it. Metal ribbon. If you don't have metal ribbon. Okay. So Carol, I was going to go to a jar lid, like a metal jar lid. And I was going to get a nail and I was going to like punch my holes in it. So that was where I went to first. And then I was going to, then I had this lid because it's bigger. Because obviously this is not big enough. Um, so I was going to, then I was going to put holes in this. So I was trying to think of a, you need a ring of some, of some type of a ring. Um, and then it, if you had just a ring, like a mason jar ring, but bigger, you could always glue something to the bottom. So you could, you might could even, if you had some stiff wire, you could even make a ring, you know, make you one, attach your whole, you know, get it. You could put several of this together and make it kind of stiff and attach your, all your birdcage to it. And then you could just glue you some cardboard on the bottom. You could do that too. Don, I have not, I have not done, um, done the dot class. I'm still trying to get it together. So, um, cause there's stuff on the back end that I have to do, um, the tech stuff to get it to, to go. So I am still trying to get all that together and cut and everything else. So yeah, it's coming late. Yeah. You could put lace around the edge. It'd be so, so pretty. Um, Hey Wendy, but yeah, I'm just trying to think if you didn't have the metal ribbon, what else could you use? Hmm. Um, like I said, I, you could make a ring with a bunch of wire and make it kind of stiff. And then somebody said something about and drill holes and something. Um, yeah, Pam, embroidery hoop. Yes, that would be perfect. So you could get your embroidery hoop and then you would attach all of these to it like this. Then you would just cut out a circle of cardboard and glue to the bottom of your embroidery hoop. There you go. Look at Pam. She is all on it. Tomato cage. Yeah, that would make a big one. Um, Pom-poms, wood beads. When are you making the gnomes? 
yeah, they the, the gnome sold out really quick yesterday. So I will be doing more of those cookie sheets from D the Dollar Tree cookie sheet trays. You could, you could probably layer some up together and make a ring and that, you know, glue it to glue strips together and then make a loop and then attach that to it. Yeah, y'all, you know, get creative and sit there and think, okay, I gotta have this piece, but what can I use instead of that? So just like Pam said, the embroidery hoop, that was perfect. Just the rings. Dollar Tree has hoops. Yeah, they have the little wreath hoops. The I started to use that, a metal, it was too big for, for what I wanted it for. But if you had a bigger pedestal or you wanted to make a big one, yeah, use the inside of one of those, uh, the little wreath forms, the wire ones, and cut it, cut away the rest of it. You could totally do that. Multi-day class. Yes, it's going to, the dot class is going to be like probably, it's going to be a private Facebook group, but it will be like a class a week for maybe four or five weeks because it's going to take me a lot to get, um, to teach you because it's not just like, oh, it's one class and you're done. Um, I saw somebody said a burner cover from Dollar Tree. Yes, that would make a real good size one because the smaller one is about like that and you could take a nail and punch holes in it and hammer and nail and make holes. They have bamboo hoops. I hadn't seen those, Stacy. I've seen the little, that little wreath that looks kind of funny, but I hadn't seen bamboo hoops yet. Maybe mine will get some. Good night, Deborah. But yeah, just kind of like somebody said the burner covers. That would be perfect. But it would be bigger than this, of course. But um, just kind of sit there and think about what you could do instead of that and improvise and use what you have. They ain't very big. Oh, Chelsea said they have wood hoops. They have wooden round ones like embroidery hoops. See, I have not seen those yet. That's interesting to know. Karen, yes, I'm going to. <laughs> when I get through cutting the spring ones, yes, I'm going to cut um, um, other seasons because the lady that designed that file, she has put out all these different ones, and I'm like, oh, my gosh. I'm just going to be cutting gnomes. <laughs> Yay, Wendy, you did. Awesome. There's two in a pack. So, see, I haven't seen those. But, yeah, just think about what you can use to do this, and that's all it is. It's just, it's just the creative... Um, Joyce, I don't know yet. Um, I will let you know, though. I don't know. Because my back and everything, this month, I wouldn't say it's been a struggle, but my family's had to help me a lot um, this month. It's because of my back. <laughs> but it's, been, it's fine. A chunky candlestick, yes. And see, I have this one. But, yeah, go to the Goodwill, and you can find embroidery hoops at Goodwill. You can find the candlesticks at Goodwill. Susan, yes. You see that project right there, that bird nest with the eggs in it? That's, I did that and I made the nest. But you could, you know, and you may have a little bird nest. But it's easy. If you have Mod Podge school glue and water and moss, make you some nests. It's so easy. It's messy to make it out of them. Let's see. This, this little round piece is probably about... It's about four and a half across. And then I use the Dollar Tree candlestick. So that kind of gives you a gauge. Okay, Sherry, I'm going to cut those this weekend because everybody's asking because Hobby Lobby has put those back out again. Um, so, yes, I'm going to do those too. Yay, thank you, Barbara. You're so sweet. Thank you very much. Yay, Teresa, thanks. See my little birdie, ain't he cute? He's just kind of sideways looking. <laughs> no metal ribbon at your Dollar Tree. Well, poo, Wendy. Maybe they'll get it. Maybe they'll get it. It was only, I only saw one box at my Dollar Tree. And I was lucky enough that they had the, like, three kinds, I guess, left. And um, I got them. But it was, it was kind of picked over. Night, Rhonda. Go to sleep. Thank you, Susan. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to hop off and go see what my my boys and family are doing. And um, my bird nest in your yard. Thank you, Gwen. Night, Tammy. Yes. Yeah, so, yes. 
make you a bird cage, a wonky little bird cage. So yes, metal ribbon on the right. Yes, and that is a lid from this container. And I put the metal ribbon around it and use my wire and my nest and my moss covers up all the imperfections. Good night from Canada, Sue. Night, Jean. Night, Gala. Night, John Boy. <laughs> all right, guys, I'm gonna hop off. I love y'all. Thank y'all for voting me into the semifinals. And I love each one of y'all and I appreciate it. And I will see y'all Monday, I guess. So have a good weekend, friends. Bye.